key to getting your audio and video in sync is to make visual and audible gestures and sounds to help you match up the video. Um, and we'll talk about drift when we start getting into the editing. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is what I'm going to try to show you versus what I can't help you with. Um, for the most part, I cannot tell you how to edit your videos. I really cannot. There are too many varieties, variables uh, out there for me to possibly tell you how to, how to work with your video. What I am going to show you how to do, or what I'm going to show you, is how I edit my videos, how I get them to sync up, the process I go through. And I am not a editing guru. I've learned my process through a lot of hours and hours and hours of trial and error. And uh, there's no way in this world that I could tell you how to use your particular editor on your particular machine using the video from your particular camera or audio recorder. I just can't do it. So anyway, I hope that the, uh, the tips that I give you or the suggestions that I give you will help you in your quest to, to make better videos and get your video to sync well. I can't guarantee it though. And the processes that I use may or may not be the best way to do it. Um, so I can't even guarantee you that. Uh, so you're probably thinking, okay, Rob's telling me what he's not going to do for me. What is he going to do for me? So I'm going to basically show you how I sync up the video, which is do a lot of the open and closing of your visor or making a loud sound in some way, shape, or form so that you have an, an audit point or a, uh, a nice little spike in your in your audio that you can line up to. And you want to do that frequently. Every time you stop at a stop sign, every time you switch topics, every five or ten minutes at the most. Um, and that will help you keep things in sync. If you go out for a hour-long ride and you start your audio and video and you only do that little syncing at the beginning, you're gonna find by the end of that hour everything is just like totally off. And even though you're not going to post an hour worth of video, it's going to be hard getting that stuff lined up that's further along in the clip. So once in a while, when you come to a, a particular point where you stop talking for a second, uh, and you come to a stop sign, a red light, whatever, just take a moment and, uh, and do a video audio sync. Do something like this. Audio video sync, one, two, three. Audio video sync via one, two, three. And I'm slapping the back seat because that's where that mic is and I'm hoping that will give me enough of a uh, clue to line things up. As far as what I'm doing right now, you don't know if I'm really talking while I'm riding or if I've overdubbed us. You don't see my lips moving, right? So you don't know that I'm actually talking right this second. So if things get a little bit out of sync, you're not too far screwed. Uh, you can deal with that. For my contour cam, this one right here, it gets so much wind noise, for the most part, I edit all of that audio out. Now where the contour cam does come in handy is when I'm talking, as you've seen in some of my videos with my buddy Brian. When I'm talking to Brian, the mic I have in my helmet does not pick up Brian at all. Not, not even a little bit. If, if it does, it's, it's so faint to be totally useless. But the contour cam will pick him up. But what I have to do is alternate between bringing the audio I'm recording in my helmet up to level and dropping it down again when he's talking and, and vice versa with the contour cam audio. And I'll show you how all that's done. Um, I got a feeling that this will probably be multiple videos because I don't want to 
I don't want to create a 15 minute long video and, and just try to cram it all into one. I'd, I'd rather take things kind of uh, in some, certain steps. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about codecs and containers, not a lot. Uh, we'll talk about trying to get your video from your camera and your audio recorder set up to the same sampling rate or formats for your audio so that they will line up better. I'll show you a couple of tricks if, you're, if your audio does get out of, out of sync, if it, if it drifts. In other words, you sync up the beginning, but the ending is just totally off. Anyway, it may take a little bit of time, and uh, I, don't wanna, I don't want this video to run too long. I'm going to edit the hell out of it. Um, and I'm going to actually see if I can uh, do screenshots, or, or rather record my screen as I'm editing. Uh, initially, I'm going to post this, just to let you guys know that, that I'm keeping my word. I, I, I did listen to you. You guys said you wanted to see something like this. So I'm going to uh, oh, there's my sweetie. We're going to the truck. So what? You didn't have a chance to say goodbye. Goodbye. You leaving me? No. Oh. Be careful. You too. Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm just recording this for uh, uh, a tutorial I'm trying to make. So, we'll see you later. Be careful. Bye. Okay, and actually I was kind of hoping I would uh, get a chance to uh, uh, to talk to my family as they were leaving. Uh, so I can show what I was talking about with the contour cam. I'm going to try to bring that volume up to match the volume in my helmet. And I'll, I'll try to drop the volume down in my helmet at the same time. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm going to try to get this video edited and posted, and then I will go back and create videos of how I created the video later on, uh, hopefully within the next week or so. Um, I still got to figure out exactly how I'm going to do that and get it set up on my computer to do so. Anyway, uh, I hope that you will find the uh, these little tutorials or suggestions. I, I, th I think I'd rather call them suggestions because uh, there's nothing hard and fast about them. It's going to be very generic. It uh, might be something that works for you. It might not. Oh, I know what else I wanted to, to say. And that is if you do not have the time to spend hours and hours figuring out how to audio, do your audio syncing, how to add an, uh, double videos in there, you know, so you've got that little picture in picture. If you don't want to spend the time researching that, if you don't want to spend the time uh, checking on uh, and, and learning about codecs and containers and, and just getting some general information about uh, your own audio, uh, um, your own video editor, which uh, I really suggest you look at the, the recommended, uh, the recommendations for that. Uh, that's, that could be very important. Um, if you're not willing to do all that, then I cannot help you at all. Uh, what I'm going to suggest in these videos is not a quick fix. It is not something you could just duplicate what I'm doing. There, there, there will be no way unless your equipment is exactly the same as mine, which I can almost guarantee you it won't be. Uh, you need to develop your own process. Uh, hopefully my tips and tricks will help you in that search to get it right, but it is going to be a search. You're going to have to have a lot of trial and error. You're going to have to spend some time with it. Uh, I'll do my best to try to help answer questions, but if you start asking me about Windows Movie Maker, I, I don't know. I I'm using a Mac. I'm using Final Cut Pro, uh, and uh, I I I've never used Movie Maker. I, I, think, I think I tried it years ago. Um, but I, haven't, I have not used it in years, and even at that time, I didn't really care for it, and I, was, I tried a different uh, editor. So I, I can't answer questions about your specific stuff. I can try to answer questions that are more generic. Uh, I'm more than willing to try to help, but uh, I, I want you to have a reasonable expectation of what I can do for you, or what I can't. Um, anyway, um, I think I've been around the block a few times here, so I'm going to kind of cut this off. Uh, again, it's, it's usually a good idea to do an audio video sync as often as possible. And 
I think I'm going to do that right now. Audio video sync. One, two, three.